Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my craft room. I'm welcoming not only you, but myself as well. I have been gone for the last two weeks. For you guys, there was no interruption in my regular scheduled videos, but for myself, I have been gone for the last two weeks on vacation. And um, yeah, it was so nice to be in the sunshine. Um, my parents, my dad and stepmom, uh, rented a house in Marathon, which is in the middle of the Florida Keys, for the month of February. And so they invited my husband and I to come down. The kids weren't able to go this time, so it was just the two of us going down. And we took a couple of days to drive down, stopping in Nashville, Tennessee, and Clearwater, Florida, where my cousin lives. And it was so nice to stay with her and her husband and meet their beautiful dog. And then we were on to Marathon, and then on the way back, we stopped in Savannah, Georgia, and Asheville, North Carolina. And so, yeah, it's been a full two weeks since I've been back in my craft room, and I'm really excited to start creating again. And it all starts here with this release. The release took place while I was gone, so I did have to place my order from my phone, which I've never done before. I usually do all of that stuff from my desktop, but my phone was the only device that I took with me. I usually like to disconnect from social media while I'm on vacation, and I do that with the exception of just posting my videos on social media so that you guys know that a new video has gone live, but other than that, I only use my phone to take pictures or, you know, text with my family, but um, yeah, so it's been a wonderful two weeks. I've missed a lot, so I have a lot to catch up on, and um, I'm really excited to start creating again. I feel inspired. It's a beautiful day here. It's supposed to hit 70 today, which is crazy because normally, um, you know, we're in like the 20s and 30s in March here in Pennsylvania, but I am not complaining. I'm actually in short sleeves. So wonderful um, welcome back from being in sunny Florida. So all right, I'm going to go through all of this stuff with you guys. This order just arrived the day that I returned from vacation, which was just two days ago, but um, I had to work at my job yesterday. So today is my first day back in my craft room, and I don't want to take any more of your time. So I'm just going to open this up off to the side. I will go through everything with you guys one by one and explain what I picked up from this latest Lawn Fawn spring release and why I made those choices. So without further ado, let me jump into the haul. And by the way, I did want to mention that if you are lucky enough to get the big Lawn Fawn box that has all of the little grass paper in it. Um, I always save this stuff to put in the bottom of my kids' Easter baskets. So um, it's great to repurpose. And I've mentioned that before, but since Easter is coming up quick, I thought I would just go ahead and mention that again. I also will save some of it and put it in the bottom of like gift bags and stuff instead of tissue paper, just to reuse it. That way it's um, got a second purpose. So um, anyway, you can do that. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is usually when you order from Lawn Fawn, you get a little package like this with a note from whoever packed your order, which for me, it's usually Ivy. I think that's really interesting that I just typically get Ivy, not always, but um, a lot of the time. And I just think that's really cool. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to it, but anyway, Really, really cool. Usually, like I said, you get a stamp. I don't know. Oh, here's one from, um, okay, so this one was from Claire, so I did have a different one for my birthday order, but there you can see you get like a little freebie stamp. Uh, for this time, I got a little package of sequins, which was really, really interesting because um, I do have quite a lot of these little stamps from ordering from Lawn Fawn over the years. I've been ordering for them for so many years. I've, you know, I'm on their Lawn Fanatics design team and I'm a Lawn Fawn YouTube channel contributor and blog contributor. So 
I've been with them for since I started card making basically since they opened up their company I have been ordering from Lawn Fawn from the very first sets that have come out so it could be that they have just like run out of stamp sets for me and so now I'm on to other things or maybe this is a new thing for the new year I'm not really sure but I I think it's really cool and I'm excited to use these the silver ones are almost like little flower shapes very interesting so that's my freebie for this uh, time that's if you order directly from Lawn Fawn they also usually include a couple of sheets of the pattern paper so these ones are all from let's see what's the name of this paper pad something with sewing or stitching what's sewing on so um, these are like cut down from the full size sheets rather than the six by six which is really nice because um, especially that we're moving into spring I think these will be fun to use and I like the larger scale because I typically only buy the six by six so it's nice to have another um, size so very very cool those are the backs beautiful I'm excited to use those so I will hang on to those I also did get the free with 60 uh, purchase. So if you purchased more than $60 worth of products, you would have gotten this stamp set, which I think is really, really cute. It goes with some of the other new release products for the spring slash summer release. And we've got all of these cute little veggies with their smiling faces, a little speech bubble, and a whole bunch of little punny sentiments that work with them. I love the size of these. I'm glad that Lawn Fawn usually does release these little freebie stamp sets at a later date so that you can pick up the dies. Right now there are no dies to match it, but I will pick them up when they become available because I really like the size of these. So I'm going to compare these to the next set that I picked up, which is going to be the, I just have to move it so I can see, the veggie veggie happy add-on so here you can see the little veggies that come in this set and a few sentiments you've also got a little worm and then compare those to the size of the freebie stamp set these are much much bigger and I think it's nice to have both and you know for different occasions different scenes that you might want to create but I really like the size of these so I'm really happy with this little freebie that I got and like I said, I'll be looking for the dies when they are released. But I did pick up the dies that go along with this one. And this also goes with the new um, Veggie Happy. So we've got these Lawn Fawn mice that everybody loves. We've seen these in so many different stamp sets, doing so many different activities. This time they are gardening, which is right after my heart. I'm a big gardener. I have two container gardens. And it's not a huge space, but I really do put a lot of love and care into it. I love growing my own vegetables and herbs. And so this stamp set is right up my alley. Um, I love all the little sentiments that go with it. And I just think the imagery is really, really cute. One thing to note about this is that the dye for the soil cuts out the little marks so that you can actually tuck your vegetables into the soil which I think makes it look even cuter so I'm very excited to play with this um, especially as we're moving in towards spring it may not be completely spring here yet even though it feels like it today um, but we are expecting snow on Sunday so it's definitely not spring here yet but um, I am so ready for it in my heart. In my heart, I am there already. So I am totally making cards. I'm done with winter cards, moving on to spring cards wholeheartedly. So those I went ahead and picked up. I'm doing things in a little bit of a different order today. I usually start with the smallest size and then go to the largest size of stamps. But today I just wanted to do things um, in like groupings of what they go with. So the next thing I'm doing is actually jumping straight to a die. This is the little farm fence border. So we've got this straight fence. We previously do have a fence from Lawn Fawn that is curved. Hold on one second and I'll grab it. 
here we are. So it is the little picket fence border. So we've got this picket fence on a curve. That one we've already got. And then we've also got the picket fence border, which is a much larger scale, but kind of the same style as the little picket fence border. This time we've got more of a farm or corral fence. Um, it's more uh, spaced out and it's straight like the um, picket fence border. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I thought it would be nice to have the different types of scenes, um, you know, depending on how you are creating your cards. But I just thought having the nice straight fence would work so well with the gardening stamp sets. And not only that, but also like the farm sets. We've got a couple different farm sets from Lawn Fawn. So I thought it would be useful to have this new style. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Then I am moving on to, um, well, I'm gonna move on to a few sets that I've already repackaged. As I mentioned, I'm on the Lawn Fanatics design team, and I'm also a Lawn Fawn YouTube channel and blog contributor. So they do send me a few products ahead of the release so that I can create stuff to inspire you guys. So um, I did already have the All the Speech Bubbles stamp set, and I've already repackaged those because I knew I was going on vacation and I just needed to get these to where I could work with them for the videos. So I did get this stamp set along with the matching dies and I have used these in a few cards already. I'll show you those in just a second. Um, I also have the Carrot About You stamp set and also the um, Carrot Bout You banner add-on, which I've packaged in with my Car Critters Road Trip add-on, but I um, just haven't labeled anything yet. I didn't get a chance to do that before I left. So, But these three sets, actually this one I, I haven't had a chance to use at all yet, but these two, I did create two different cards for you guys. This one was on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel. I did a mini slim line featuring these adorable little carrot cars. I think these are so, so cute and creative. And I love that we have little bunnies to drive them. The tulips was a really cool little add-on. I used both the singular tulip and the row of tulips for this particular card. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm talking, I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited to be back in my craft room. But anyway, um, I, so I used all of those and I also brought in the road border, which um, is I have packaged in with my picket fences. So I brought that in just to create a nice little scene with these guys headed toward the spring festival. So I did that one on the Lawn Fod YouTube channel. And then I also did one on my own channel and I tried to use these sets in a new and different way without the carrot car. Even though I love the carrot car, I just wanted to show you that you could use it in different ways. So I did feature the wagon for this one and the tulips again. And then I combined that with some pattern paper which I will show you guys in a minute. This is from the brand new release as well. So um, this is with the Secret Garden window, which is an older die set, but I just thought it paired so well with these new spring products. So there is all of that. I also did get the, um, what is this called? I haven't labeled it yet, but it's the Carrot Box. It might just be called Carrot Box. But I'm excited to play with this as well. I think that's a really cute and clever little way to add treats into your kids' Easter baskets. So I definitely plan on using this soon. And then probably the stuff that I was the most excited about is going to be the new um, Kanga Kangarific and Kangarific add-on. I am so excited about these products, you guys. I swear... I had just been thinking like a week before the release how I wish that Lawn Fawn would revisit the Critters Down Under stamp set because I love that stamp set, but I just wish that there were more like scene building elements to it. And then lo and behold, 
they granted my wish without even knowing that I wished it. So I am so excited about these stamp sets. I love these kangaroos. I love that we have these little juveniles here and then also some little tiny babies. They are so, so adorable. I am loving this. This will probably be the first set that I play with um, now that I'm back just because I love it so, so, so much. And then, of course, I did get the kangarific add-on because we've got the trees, we've got the kookaburra, we've got some little lizards, a frilled one and a regular one, some cool new flowers in a different style, extra rocks for scene building, some really great little sentiments, and some grasses. So I think you can make so many cute and adorable cards with these two sets. And I love that this little Mama Kanga has a little cut in the die so that she has a pocket so you can actually stick one of the little joeys in there. So, so cute. Or you can add any of the other little accessory images as well. The little bouquets, the gift, the card, any of those. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about this. I am the most excited about this stamp set of anything from this release. I think it was all fabulous, but like I am so happy for these stamp sets. Super, super excited. So that was all the stamps. And then I did grab the new um, Give It A Whirl. I went ahead and got the whole kit for this one. Um, so this is the new interactive die from Lawn Fawn that kind of like spins around and reveals either a sentiment or a scene depending on the way you set it up. So I'm really excited to play with this and you could buy the different pieces of it separately or you could buy it as a bundle. I went ahead and grabbed it as a bundle. I originally was only going to get the different pieces of it. Um, but I decided to just get the whole thing because I was going to get everything except for the 3D foam strips because I figured that I could just cut the foam down into strips myself since I buy the big rolls of the, um, I buy the giant roll of the foam tape, the, um, e what is it? I've been so out of my craft room for so long I can't remember things. Um... Scotch 3M foam tape. So, um, but you know what? These are perfectly sized to fit the um, Give It A Whirl die. And I just thought it might be tricky to get them perfectly cut, you know, without like any jagged lines. And if you have any jagged edges or whatever, your little thing isn't going to spin. So I decided to just go ahead and grab the 3D foam strips as well, which made it just easier to grab the whole bundle. So I did get those. They're, they are nice and thin, so I'm glad I did grab those. And then this is the Give It A Whirl die. This is the main piece. And then there's also the Give It A Whirl scalloped add-on. So you can have a scalloped border, and then you also have two different um, like grasses and stuff. So for the original one, it's like a straight grass. This one is sloped. And the original one has like a sloped flat grass or ground, which could also be snow or waves or whatever. And this one is the straighter one. So I thought it would be nice to have the options. And then I did grab the Give It A Whirl template because I did watch the video while I was gone on vacation. And it seemed like this would be pretty useful. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm also nervous. You guys know how I feel about interactive dyes. I get really intimidated but I do think they're fun once you get the hang of them. Um, and this one didn't seem like it would be too difficult. So I'm excited to play with it and see what happens. Um, usually I don't even practice beforehand. I just go into it in a video for you guys. So you can see if I have any struggles. You can see me do it in real time. So that is likely what I will do for these as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, then I did grab the Rainbow Ever After pattern paper pad. You know me and my pattern paper, so this is absolutely stunning. I love the pastel hues for um, the Easter and spring season, and I did use 
Um, I didn't use it on this card. I used an older one, but um, where's the other card that I just had a second ago? This one I did use the Rainbow Ever After. I actually used two different pieces. So I have this striped piece here you can see there's the little piece that i cut out and saved and then i also used one of these ombre pieces so i used the pink and purple fade for the sky and then i used the green to purple fade for the grass so i just cut it down into two pieces and layered those on top of each other i think this especially these are so great for making quick and easy backgrounds with that beautiful ombre effect and there's two different ones in this paper pad um let's see if i can find them so there's that's the one i used and then there's also this one that has like the peach to yellow to green really really gorgeous i can't wait to use this one this one reminds me of the keys where i just was with those beautiful sunsets and sunrises but anyway very very excited about the new paper pad because you guys know me and my huge love for pattern paper so the last couple of things that I got were the one of the new washi tapes. This is the butterfly one with the rainbow of butterflies. It's just called Butterfly Kisses. Um, but I thought that would be really beautiful to seal my envelopes with. Um, I love washi tape for sealing up my envelopes. I always use these for that. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I did grab the two new cardstock colors so we have the new tide pool which is between mermaid and peacock in the lawn fawn cardstock lineup and then we have algae which is between um citron no that's a distress oxide what's the name of it cilantro cilantro and noble fur you can tell i've been gone from my craft room for a couple weeks guys um this one is like a medium green in between the cilantro and noble fur so these kind of fit in spaces where we've needed them i've actually really wished for some card stocks in these kind of middle colors so I'm really glad to see that we have some new shades and I definitely plan to be using these soon. I think they're both absolutely gorgeous. So that is everything that I picked up from this release. I hope you guys found some things that you're excited to see me use in future videos. Um, like I said, I am so excited to be back in my craft room. I feel so inspired. Um, one of the things that I really struggle with here in Pennsylvania at this time of year is uh, the lack of color. Like the landscape outside my window just feels like it's all brown and gray. There's just no color, no vibrancy left in the landscape. And we really don't get any of that until end of May, June, you know, um, when the flowers start blooming again it takes a long time here in northwestern pa and it it's hard to when you're such a visual person to feel inspired when the world just doesn't seem to have any color left in it and uh, that was one thing that i just could not get enough of when we were in the keys was just all the beautiful vibrant greens and blues and even the flowers there was hibiscus there was all kinds of different flowers already blooming. So there were all these little pops of reds and purples and pinks and yellows. And it was just a, a dream for somebody who has like more of an artistic mindset. And uh, it really invigorated me and made me feel excited to start creating again. So I am very excited to be back and I can't wait to get creating with you guys next up is going to be a plan a card with me video i know you guys love those so i hope that you'll be excited about that and um yeah so i will see you guys soon thank you so much for being here and for watching this video and my other videos leaving those likes and those um wonderful comments that really make me feel so supported and cared for and appreciated and it means the absolute world to me i never get enough of that um just knowing that you guys are here and you know wanting to see more from me 
means the world. So thank you for that. Also, thank you for using my links. Ever since I mentioned that I was not getting very many affiliate sales from my links, I've been seeing more and more of those kind of creep up and it makes a huge difference in me being able to purchase products like this to continue creating for you guys. So thank you so much. If you're using my links down in the description bar below, that means that I get a small percentage of that sale at no cost to you from um, any of the companies that I'm affiliated with. Lawn Fawn is one. So if you ever want to place an order and use one of my links before you do so, uh, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It really, really means the world. So thank you guys, and I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I'm just so excited to talk to you guys. It's been so long for me. So anyway, thank you, and I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye-bye.